Hi, welcome back to Castle Class Presents Roll20. I am your guide, Corey Longnecker. Um, we are going to pick up here at Class 3, and we left off with Class 2 talking about the VTT Enhancement Suite, and I said I was going to do a video on how to get animated maps into your game in Roll20. So that is what we are going to do today. Um, first thing first, this does not require any pro account. This is a free thing for, for anybody. All you need to do is make sure that you as the DM and all of the players in the game have that VTT Enhancement Suite uh, add-on installed, whether it be for Chrome or uh, Firefox. That's the only thing that, that is required is for them to be able to see it. They have to have this add-in as well. Um, as the person running the game, you are going to have to install two pieces of software. Um, one is called uh, GitHub Desktop, and you're going to need a GitHub account as well. And the other is FFmpeg, which is a uh, video converter, format converter. Um, basically, you're going to do a little bit of things. I'm going to provide you with the command to run in a command prompt, um, and that's really all you're going to need to know. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me switch over here real quick, and we can get cracking. So, first things first, GitHub. Uh, GitHub.com, I'll provide all the links to these things in the description of the video. Uh, you'll want to sign up for an account if you don't already have one. If you are a um, programmer or you work with code or people who work with code, you may be familiar with GitHub as a code repository. Um, in my old job, I used, to, I used to deal with GitHub, so I'm familiar with it. So I already have an account here. I already have created um, a practice one here called Castle Class, but I'll go through and create one for you here. Uh, once you get in, you are going to need a repository. You can call it any maps. And you are going to need to make it public. And this is important because if you create it as private, um, you'll either have to convert it to public or not be able to display maps. It has to be public because it's going to be a URL that you put into Roll20 that all of the other players um, are going, in order for them to see it, they're going to have to have this be public. So create it as public. And then you're ready to go. It's got a repository built for you called AnyMaps. Um, it says all you need to do is create a new file or upload an existing file. Uh, we're going to get to that by using the GitHub desktop here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and show you that real quick so you can download it here for Windows. They do have a Mac OS version if you are using Mac. I don't know if the FFmpeg command will be the same in Mac or not. Um, sorry, you might have to just look that up on the internet. I'm a Windows user, so that's that. Uh, and then here is the download FFmpeg page and there is the Windows uh, option there. So let's go ahead and get started. A couple things I've already got loaded. I've got my command here. I keep it in a notepad file, a text file, and I just copy and paste it as I need it. Uh, I've got a command prompt up, and I've got the file that we're going to convert ready to go. So I keep a folder on my desktop. It's called convert map files, and that allows me to um, take a look and just quickly move things around and get there very quickly. I don't have to navigate through multiple layers of folders. Um, it's, it's just there mostly because it's easy to get there from here. So we switch to that folder. We'll see that I've got the Magma River file in there, and here's what we're going to do. So we're going to pop into the file here. We're going to copy the file name. We're going to paste the file name up here. And we're going to make the M4V, because that's the kind of file it is. And then we're going to paste this here. A uh, couple things you're going to need to know. Um, this command right here, or this switch, dash an, strips the audio out of the file. I do that because I don't use the audio in there, and it's going to make the file size a little bit smaller, and that's just preferable for me. If you want to keep the audio in there, just delete that part of it. Um, other things to note in here are the format. I have it in 1080, uh, and I also have it in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If you want to do it in 720, you can put the corresponding um, sizes there in, in 720 format. That's really all you need to know here. I use WebM 
because it's a pretty small file size and it seems to host well in GitHub. So we're going to copy this whole thing. We're going to come down here to the command prompt and we're going to paste this command. And it's going to start running um, and it's going to start converting this file. And really that's all we have to, to wait for. So it'll take just a, a little bit. It won't take long at all. Um, while that's happening, let me pull up a roll 20, get in here and we'll have our page ready to go. Um, so we'll have, let's say, let's create a new one here. So we'll create a new page. We'll switch to it. We'll rename it. You can right click on that to rename it and we'll call that lava river. And the file that I had pulled up was a gridless. So I am going to leave the grid on in roll 20. If you have a grid on the video file, you may want to turn it off in roll 20. So let's check on that. That has been completed. So we can make sure that it is good to go. So right here we can see we have the magma 145 megabyte file reduced to 37.7. So it really cut down on the size of the file. Pretty nice. Um, so let's take a look at GitHub desktop here. Here we have GitHub desktop. Um, you can see I've got uh, the current repository. That's the one I want to put the map into, which is what I use is called animated maps. And what we're going to do here is use this cool little function called show and explore. So it's going to bring up a new explorer window and it's kind of like Google Drive where it's on your desktop, but it's in the cloud. This is on your desktop, but it's also on GitHub. So all we're going to do is drag and drop this magma river file, the WebM file into here. It's there. We can minimize these now. You'll see in GitHub desktop that it has been uh, found and we're going to commit this to the master. And then we're going to push it to the origin so that it, it is there in GitHub. It's currently pushing. It doesn't take long because these file sizes are usually pretty small. And once that's completed, we are going to view it on GitHub because we need the URL to the file. So that's what we're going to wait for there. Uh, we're almost done and completed. So let's view this on GitHub. You'll see here is a list of everything. Uh, I believe this was called Magma River. So you click on that file and you click on View Raw and there it is. So while you're here, grab the, uh, grab the URL and we're gonna pop back into Rule 20 at this point. Uh, that's, that's what we wanna see. So we're here in Rule 20 again. So you've converted your file, you've uploaded it to GitHub and you've grabbed the URL to the file. So now you're ready to share it in uh, Roll20. So in Roll20, you go to the animated background setup. You don't have to worry about uh, which, which layer you're on. It, it doesn't matter. So you pop over here to this uh, film looking tab and you paste the URL here and you click enabled. Click OK. And it may take a second or two. page. Yeah, and there it is. So we can zoom out and you can see there is an animated uh, animated map in Roll20. Really cool. So yeah, if your map does come with, uh, mine does not, this was a gridless version, uh, you can go to the page toolbar, go to your page, you can turn the grid off if it already has a grid. Uh, this one doesn't, so I'll leave it on. I kind of like getting gridless maps and then using the grid in Roll20. It's, it's kind of helpful that way. And yeah, and, and you're set. And it will, it will make it to the size of whatever your page is. So if you need it bigger or smaller, you can redo it for the page size. And that's really all there is to it. So you can really up your game with animated maps in Roll20. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions, please post in the comments below. Um, if this is something you're enjoying, please subscribe. And I'll keep putting out as many videos as I can. Uh, the next video will be about APIs, so that will require a pro account in Roll20. 
So we'll get into some APIs and some macros and continue to step up our game. So have a good one. Thanks for stopping by.